What's going on? So if you guys are watching this video, that most likely means you're pretty interested in starting up um, your video editing career or maybe you just find it fun and you do it as a hobby. Um, that's kind of how I am. So you're probably interested in getting Final Cut Pro, but you don't want to pay for it because it's like $300 by itself. So I'm here to show you how you can get Final Cut Pro for free for uh, as long as you want it really um, but there are some issues with doing this so and I'll get into those at the very end but without wasting more time let's get right into it so for this what you want to do is type in Final Cut Pro trial and if you scroll down a little ways you will see this Final Cut Pro X free trial by Apple Make sure you go to the one by Apple because all these third-party ones might not be um, quite right. They might try to be installing some virus into your computer. So just go to the Apple one. And really what you're going to do is just fill in all your information here and then click download the free trial. I can't do it because I've already done it once. Um, but after you hit download free trial, what's going to happen is you're going to get the full experience of Final Cut Pro. And it'll look like you only get it for 30 days. However, if you want to get it for longer, um, there's kind of like a cheat around the system is you are just going to set your time back to um, any day within that 30 month period of when you had the free trial. So I'll show you how to do that right now. You're going to go into your computer settings into system preferences and then you're going to click on um, date and time and really all you're going to do here uh, click the lock make some changes enter your password and what you're going to do is you're going to uncheck set date and time automatically and then go back to any day that was in that 30-day trial of when you had Final Cut Pro um, so what this is going to do is it's going to change the time on your computer and it's going to trick Final Cut Pro into thinking you're still within that 30 day period. That's pretty sweet is you get Final Cut Pro for free for as long as you want it. Now the only bad side effects of this are you can't really use anything else on your computer when you have your time set back because it kind of will mess up other applications that rely on your computer's time. And the other thing is you don't get any of the future updates to Final Cut Pro. So like anytime there's an update on the App Store, you won't get it. And eventually what's going to happen is your application is going to run into some glitches, some malfunctions, and there's just nothing you can do to fix them. So that's it. That's how you get Final Cut Pro for free for as long as you want it. But just be aware of those side effects to doing it this way. Um, if you find out that you really love Final Cut Pro, rather than get the full price, go ahead and type in Final Cut Pro Education and you'll get a bundle of a bunch of Pro packages for less than what you would get Final Cut Pro alone. Um, I think you get five Pro applications for $200, which is 100 less than what you would pay for Final Cut Pro alone. So that's a great deal. That's what I did. Um, go ahead, click the links in the description down below to download those trials. And if you like this video, subscribe for more Final Cut Pro tutorials and tips and tricks on how I edit my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.